Hello, this is Bill with Imaging Spectrum, and today we're going to be creating a footer in Photoshop for the Breeze software. Now, I'm using Macintosh uh, Photoshop right now, but it doesn't really matter using Mac or Windows. These, these settings are really pretty much identical. Now, the only difference is, is uh, if you're using Elements, these, uh, some of these tools may be in different places. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come up to File here, and I'm going to get a new. I'm going to make this 620 pixels wide by 150 pixels high, resolution is 300, and I'm going to make sure the background contents are transparent. Now I've set this to pixels to make it a little bit easier, so if it is set for inches, make sure to change that to pixels. I'm going to click OK, and that's going to create the canvas that I'm going to need to put all, all my text on. So you're going to text, I'm going to come over here to the type tool, click on that, and then I'm going to make a little box here to fit that font into. I'm going to come over here to the um, font selection. I'm going to change this to freehand. Okay, so I found freehand here. Now I've got about a thousand fonts on my computer, so if you don't have these fonts, you can always uh, search for them on the internet. Uh, I'm going to make this uh, a little bit bigger. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to try 24 pixels and I'm going to make this uh, the purple, eh, TCU colors. It's kind of a popular color here in Dallas-Fort Worth where I am. I'm going to go ahead and start typing. I'm going to click here, make sure that my, uh, my text tool is ready for me. And I'm just going to type in Rick and Brittany. Okay, it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to select this all. I'm just going to slide here, select the whole name here. I'm going to change this font size to 21. When I do that though, it's going to leave the last N and Y at 21 also, so i got to select it again at 21. Now it's a good size for me. I'm going to click uh, the check here. Okay, and we're going to get it sized right. And now I'm going to click the Move tool, and I'm going to slide this down so I get all of Brit and Rick, Rick and Brittany in there. There we go. Now I'm going to come back over here to the Text tool, make another little box. Now I'm going to make a put the, the date of the wedding and everything. For this, I'm going to use Century Gothic. So let me look that up real quick here. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to set this to 12. And on, for this one, I actually know the uh, RGB colors for what they want to use. So I'm going to set that. It's going to be 247. Okay, green's going to be 231. And blue is going to be 206. Okay, so now I've told it what color I want to use. Okay, and I, again, that was just uh, going into the character box and clicking on the color. All right, so now I have a color. And I'm actually going to make this uh, wedding date March 1st, 2013. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to go ahead and click, um, click the check mark here, and I can see that the font is actually touching. So I'm going to slide it down just a little bit. Okay, and just to make it easier for you to see, plus it's the next step anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go to Layer here, and I'm going to go to Flatten. Okay, that way we can see everything. Everything's in there right now, and I did leave plenty of room on the bottom so it won't get cut off when it prints. So now that I've uh, flattened it, I'm going to select all. I'm going to copy it. Okay, then I'm going to go to Image and Canvas Size, and I'm going to set this width back to pixels. And I'm going to make it 1,240 pixels wide. I'm going to anchor it to the left. And I'm going to make the canvas extension black so I can see what I'm doing since I have a white background here. Okay, now when I click OK, I have what I originally did on the left-hand side. right-hand side is now blank for me to, to move, the, um, move the copy and, and uh, paste it back in there. So I'm going to go to Edit and Paste, back to the Move tool. Now if I slide this over, I can see where that white fits in to there. So now I'm going to, I'm just going to hit the option in the space bar on the Mac and make it a little bit smaller so I can see what I'm doing. So now I know that it fits perfectly. Now the only thing I have to do is save it. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Save As. Okay, I'm going to call this Footer. Okay, I'm going to change this to a JPEG. And I'm just going to save it to the desktop here. So I'm going to save this footer. Oh, we already have one on there, so I'm just going to replace it. And 11 quality is fine on this. doesn't have to be 12. Um, so now we have the footer saved. It's ready to go into the proper folder in Breeze to be used as a footer. And that's how you make footers in Photoshop for Breeze. Thank you.